from the other side of the tree, we're going to take our B core. So this is the same oak tree. And remember, we're on the two sides. So we're coring with the contour. We're not on the upside, not on the downslope side. Uh, I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to actually stick it in the bark here a little bit. I'm going to try to. Just get it out of my way. Um, you don't want it underfoot. I step on it and bend it, and that's not good. So, about the same level I was before. I'm going to get my starter, put that in there so I can lean on it. I'm going into a little furrow here, in the center of the tree. So I'm putting some pressure on it. Start to turn clockwise. Reds are engaged. I'm done with that. It's just, oaks are pretty hard to core into. Things like hickory trees are even harder, and ash especially. There's a reason they make baseball bats out of them. Very hard wood. Yeah. Get your work out. We're only doing a few trees today. So I don't have to worry about my hands so much, but some people will wear like uh, bicycle gloves, you know, with the padded palms and the fingers cut out so you can still use your fingers. It kind of saves some of the wear and tear on your palms. I'm gonna get a blister. The harder, farther you go in, the harder it gets to turn, obviously. not getting too much heavy breathing on the <laughs> from my mic here all right almost there okay all right so remember with a spoon it's got those teeth end I'm going to take it so the Curve side is up and slide it at the top of the bore there. Put it in, half turn back out. And here it comes. I'm pinch one end of my straw. Behaving a little bit better than the last one, I think. There we go. All right. So again, the teeth have kind of gripped it, so I'm just going to roll it a little bit. Didn't want to let go. There we go. Set the spoon. Either stick it in the bark or set it well out of your way. And I'm going to pinch that end again. I'm just going to pinching the paper along the length of it, holding it over a little bit. Take my other straw, slide it over the top, and just kind of twist it so it fits in. The last one, it grabbed pretty well, so I didn't bother doing it, but probably a good idea to maybe take some masking tape Secure those two sides of the straw. Remember, you mark which side is your bark end. And again, if I had somebody else helping me, they could be doing all this while I could be unscrewing the tree, <laughs> unscrewing the board from the tree. Uh, fold down the other end, put a little piece of tape on that end as well. All right, the rest of that information I'll put on there later. But meanwhile, I got to get this ingredient out. Would 
picker off in the distance. Okay, got my wax. So kind of helps me get the next core started. And again, check that you don't have any plugs in there. Again, it came out clean, so I don't have to worry about putting my uh, golf tee in there. What you don't want to do, you never want the, um, the tip to hit the ground, to hit metal. Um, it, it's relatively thin there. It's sharp, so you don't want to keep your fingers, keep, let your fingers nearby there. Um, but never like kind of bang it on the ground to get the, the, uh, the core out. Uh, if you chip it, um, you could ruin the board depending on how big a chip it is. Um, when the tree, uh, we'll, we'll kind of seal this hole up with sap right so it'll it'll fill in um, so we don't really need to worry about um, plugging it up some people will put wax in there some people are just looking at the core count the rings and then shove the thing back in there what you don't want to do is say take dirt and plug dirt in there to kind of plug um, plug up the hole that way because that introduces bacteria and other possible pathogens into the tree so never put any dirt in there again don't let dirt get on your bore uh, the tree should be just fine. All right, next we'll go take a look at a beech tree. All right, the last tree we're going to core today is a beech tree. Hopefully it's not rotten on the inside. They, they do tend to do that. I'm kind of leaning on a bit, heading for center. There we go. One thing that can happen in a core in a tree is that um, the core starts to get compressed in there. So instead of um, the, the, uh, the, the bore kind of just sliding right in there, it kind of starts pushing on the wood and compressing it. Um, one way, if you think that might be happening, you can kind of put the um, spoon in now I've stopped when I've hit the tree, and that should be the same distance to the outside of the tree, right? So if it was compressing it, the, the spoon would go in farther and it would be sticking out. So, so it's just the distance to the outside of the tree should be the distance, same distance as to the inside of the tree. It's just a way to see if that, um, again, see if that core is being compressed. In there. If it gets, again, hardwood trees are obviously harder to core than softwood trees or conifers. If it starts getting really hard to core, it could mean that you're coring along a ring boundary, which is going to be very hard. And, and you do at that point, if you think that's what's going on, you want to stop and pull it out so you don't break the bit in there. They do wear out, they do break, so you don't want to put them under undue stress. The three trees that we're going to be coring today, an oak, a beech, and a pine, all have very different wood that we'll see when we look at their rings back in the lab. About halfway. A couple more. <laughs> 